characters. We're going to look at three of those. Now, yesterday I was lucky enough to go and watch Sing with my family, Sing 2, and what a cracking movie it was. Had an absolute great time watching the storyline, all the characters and all the music. It was amazing. All right, are you guys ready? We've got, all you're gonna need is a pencil, a rubber, some paper, maybe a Sharpie and some textures or color pencils. So if you've been, if you're lucky enough to have seen Sing 2, you would know some of the characters return from Sing 1 and we get, get introduced into some new characters. Now this guy here, obviously the main character and he is Buster Moon. And we're gonna start by drawing Buster Moon, and then we're gonna have a go at drawing, oh, let me see whether I can find her. Rosetta, she's the star of the show. And one of my favorite characters, love her, how funny she is, Miss Crawley. We're gonna draw her at the end. Now I've been doing a little bit of practicing this morning just to get warmed up and I've also done a little bit of extra homework and printed off some easier to see pictures. So you can see that I've got Buster Moon here already done as a line drawing. Sometimes this, I found these on the internet and they are a coloring in page. So I've got my paper ready to go. Now, rather than listening to me talk the whole time, I'm gonna put on some cool background music. I'm gonna, put on some, some of the songs from Sing. Let's see if you guys can hear this all right. All right, grab your pencil. Let me know if it's too loud. All righty. Okay, so Buster Moon is looking, he's pretty, pretty cool. He's one of the main characters and he goes through a lot of uh, ups and downs through the movie, but comes through. All right, let's have a look at this shape. Almost a circle, so I'm gonna draw almost a cir light circle on my page. Nice and light. Then we're going to put on some oval shapes for the ears. Now, if you look at the ears, almost a circle as well, not quite as big as the head, so I'm just gonna go a little bit bigger there. Remember, there are no thing such thing as mistakes, it's all learning, and I'm. I'm learning to draw these characters as well and showing you how I break, break them down into shapes. So we've got the ears on. At the moment we've got a circle and two oval shapes. Try and keep those oval shapes the same size. Okay, now he's very happy because uh, his show is a sellout early in the movie in his small hometown theater. All right, let's have a look at his um, nose, it's almost a rounded rectangle, but it's slightly wider at the bottom. So I'm gonna start by positioning the top of the nose, and then I'm gonna come down. And if you look, it's just, un just under halfway. So I reckon I've got that pretty well right. And it gets wider as it comes down. Okay, so I've got, the, got his um, nose. Now I'm gonna draw the eyes, so just gonna draw a circle over here, and a circle over here. And then don't forget the, the eyeballs. Now at the moment, it's just looking like shapes, but once we start putting all the details on, that's when it looks amazing. Now he's, he's really happy, as I said, so I'm gonna make a big curved line there. So at the moment, I've just used some lines and shapes, another little, couple of little lines for his mouth. All right, let's start by adding some of this extra details around here to make it his head look like it's fur. So, I'm gonna start with this line here. Then I'm gonna put some hair. You can make that as many little hairy bits like that as you like, going around the ears. Now see how it's a broken line rather than a continuous line? That, if you want it to be a full line like this, I've just made it look like it's got hair. And don't forget the inner parts, one, two, three lines. Now, if I'm going too fast for you, um, you can watch this back on YouTube. It'll be up later on today. 
Had a few troubles yesterday's video not uploading straight away, so hopefully this one will. Okay, just broken line through there just to show you the fur. That's what we're trying to do here. And when we do, when we outline this later on, it's gonna look pretty good. All right, so if you've got your head shape done, now art is about looking, remember? And we can rub some of these lines out. Now you might notice that I've gone with a mechanical pencil today. I've also got a mechanical rubber just to show you some of the cool tools you can get these days. And I'm just, uh, sounds a little bit like a dentist drill. Well, we don't wanna go there. All right, so we've got the face of Buster Moon. Oh, don't forget the eyebrows. You can see the eyebrows are right up the top there. One, two. And now if we look at the body, we've got the head there and we can put some color in there later on. We've got the bow tie, but let's have a look at the size of the head. If I get a pencil and I sort of put my finger on the top of there to there, you notice that his head is actually a little bit taller than his body. So if I've done that that size, I'm just gonna put a little mark about here. That's gonna be right there where that sort of triangle shape comes. Now, we're gonna draw that little triangle, two sides of the triangle for the, for the legs, okay? And we are going to pretend we're gonna draw his shoulders, so that comes out a little bit. And if I was to continue that line through, it'd be like a continuous curve, but it cuts it off through there. Now we're gonna do the suit jacket. I'm going to do a continuous curve like so for the bottom of the suit jacket. See this curve? And then I'm going to bring this line down like so. Continuous curve like that. That's his jacket. Now you might go, oh, it doesn't look like his jacket, but it will. It's the basic shape of this. Now I might have done mine a little bit wider, but that's okay. All right, then I'm gonna bring this line down here for his legs, the other line down for the legs, and a curved line for where his pants finish. And we're gonna sort of make sure that they're lined up, okay? All right. We then will have the arms coming out. So you can see that's a bit of a curve and that's a curve line. So let's have a look. Curve, curve line coming out, then a curve line across. It almost comes out halfway through his ears, see that? And then the other. Now, if you've seen the movie, um, you would appreciate all the awesome songs. If you haven't seen it, well worth a look. Okay, now, we've got the basic of his body now. Now, now's a little bit of a tricky uh, details that's gonna make a huge difference. All right, this first shape here is a triangle here. So this is like a little light, draw lightly, because if we don't like it, we can rub it out. So there's a little triangle, that's like the, the V-neck of his jacket. Now I'm gonna bring this line down a little bit more and then across like so. And that's this part here. And then I'm going to put a line across there and then we're gonna rub out. Yeah, I'm being a bit fancy with my fancy rubber, but you can use a normal one or you can rub that out once we do the Sharpie outline. That's if you choose to do a Sharpie outline for this one. Button jacket, uh, the button on the jacket, now let's do the collar. Another little rounded rectangle, then some rounded bow shapes coming out here to fill up that little gap. And then a couple of lines coming off there to show the, show the bow. All right. As I said, if I'm going too fast, you'll just have to rewatch it later on, on um, YouTube. All right, collar. Coming out, back in, out, back in, through there. And that one comes all the way through like so. 
just going to change that line slightly to match it. Alrighty, got that looking pretty good. You could put the crease lines in for the, um, this is where the jacket would have a crease where the elbow is. Same with this one, that's why they've put those lines there, the artist. Remember, all these characters that you used to love to watch on TV, an artist has made them. So you guys could one day be the person who designs a character for a TV show or a famous movie. Now, if you look at here for the hands, I'm going to start with a oval shape. So I'm gonna start with an oval shape there and an oval shape there. That's like the palm of your hand, okay? And then we're gonna put the fingers coming off it, all right? So obviously, first of all, the thumb. Fingers are kind of tricky. But they, he's got little, um, little fingers coming off like that. They're almost rounded rectangles again coming in. And then we've just got the palm of the hand there. There's one. And he's pretty happy. He's probably um, talking to his audience after the show, after a successful show. And he's got his hands out and showing himself, giving it, giving it um, how happy he is that he sold out his show. All right, um, lucky last. I'm just gonna rub that little bit out. These rubbers are cool because you can get into those little spots. All right. Okay, so what are we gonna do here? We're going to do a little curve with a flat bottom, bottom for the shoe and then that comes up slightly and he's wearing some heels so he's just got a little bit of a line coming in like that. So again, a curve, a straight line coming up and in there like that. And there, whoops, don't forget the lines on his pants. That's his um, ironing, ironing lines. He looks like he's got a good ironer at home. Someone who irons his clothes, puts the crease down the front of his trousers. Very good, looking very official there, Mr. Moon. Buster, now, great character. Love all the ups and downs he goes through in the movie. I'm gonna put that one to the side, okay? because now I would like to show you how to draw Rosita, or Rosetta, however you want to pronounce it. I'll probably get it wrong, but <laughs> I'm going to bring out the picture of her that I'm trying to, I've just got to try and find which side it's on. I printed everything double-sided. The one with the space suit. No, all the characters are looking a bit shocked in there. Nushi's a pretty cool character. Here she is, there, this character right here. Now, let's see if we can zoom in on that. No, I can't. Oh, yes, I can. Excellent, fantastic. We've zoomed in a little bit. It's a little bit slow. Let me try that again, because you're on, we're on a slight delay here and see. Okay, I'm just gonna move that up a bit. There we are, I've zoomed in, excellent. All right, now looking at Rosetta, she goes through some ups and downs in the movie too. A lot of the characters do. They have their own struggles that they face. I'm not going to tell you what they are. You'll have to watch it. Okay, going to start with an oval shape for her. I mean, a circle shape for her head. So basically a circle, but let's have a look at... These are her big cheeks. So I'm just going to put a little line in there for her cheeks. Now, we don't. I don't have a line drawing of this, so that's I'm making this one up. Now, if you look at her nose, it's pretty much smack in the middle and it is an oval shape going sideways and then a couple of oval shapes going up like so. Then her little eyes. The other, char other pig character is so funny in that movie too. I'm not gonna give anything away, but the character that he plays is so cool in the final scenes. All right, don't wanna, I don't wanna be a spoiler. But if you have seen it, you'll know what I'm talking about. Okay, if we look at the ears, I'm gonna match them up, and then she's got a fold in her ears. Like so. And she's got a super big smile. She's so happy, she's had a great show. Now, this is the, this is the part that is kind of tricky. 
So drawing, being able to draw circles is super important. Another one is drawing ellipses. So if we pretend that that's an ellipse like so. And then we can bring that in. We don't need that background line. It was just there to help me. Almost reminds me of when a, when a dog goes into an operation, they wear something like that around their neck. Anyway, getting sidetracked here. All right, now we've got that shape there for this part of her outfit. Now, if you look at this big part here, it is a shape like so. Coming out, coming in. And it's almost symmetrical, so I'm going to make it a little bit. And you can see how that lines up, so it's almost, I might bring it out just a little bit wider and then bring that back into there. All right, so we've got her front leg in, in the front. So I'm gonna draw a line coming down like so, and then a little, little hoof like so there, and that's her front leg. And I'm just gonna put this part of the outfit on. Now the back leg goes back a little bit so it, see how it's not quite down to the level of that leg and it's a little bit narrow. So I'm gonna just bring, I may even bring that in a little bit there and make her hoof back there a bit smaller and then just line that up. Yep, that's about right there. You can draw that on later. All right, let's have a look. She's holding her helmet, so it's quite a round shape, so I'm gonna start here and draw a circle the size I want the helmet to be. The reason I've drawn that first and not the arm is so that we can position the arm. We've got her other, this arm over here is a little bit easier. She's wearing a glove, so we don't really need to draw the, the fingers that much, but we can just draw some sort of folds and stuff in the glove. We can draw that later if you decide to colour in Rosita, Rosetta. Okay, other arm coming up to the elbow. Now her hand is actually on, on the, on the ball about there. So draw this coming down. Finger, finger, thumb, and then back to her arm. I might make that a little bit more like so. And there we have a, a drawing of Rosita carrying her helmet. And we could put the gra a ground line in if we wanted to, do some other details, but that's her looking pretty good. All right, so we've done Buster Moon and Rosita. I've done Rosita a bit smaller than Buster Moon. Now time for one of my favorite characters, and that is Miss Crawley. I <laughs> uh, love Miss Crawley. She is hilarious when she um, is bossing everyone around in the movie. She gets her megaphone out and away she goes. All right, so she's a bit tricky. Now, the reason I chose these three characters is because you know, they, they are simple, simpler shapes. When we start looking at characters like Johnny um, and Mina, we have a bit more detail and Mr. Crystal, he's not too bad. Out of the three characters that we've drawn today, I've done Miss Crawley last because she's probably a little bit trickier. All right, I'm gonna start with these cool eyeballs. Now, if you've seen the movie, that is some of the scenes there are just hilarious. I was laughing out loud a lot. So I'm drawing two big circles for her eyeballs. So here and here. Putting the, eye, the eyelid on this one and then the black part for the eyeballs there. Just gonna shade that in just to show you guys. You don't have to do that yet. Okay. All right, now she's got a cap that comes up and around like so, like a big curved line, but it starts here and ends on that part of the head. So I'm just looking, art is about looking. And remember, no such thing as mistakes, it's all learning. 
even I'm, I learn every day as well. Continually learning, that's what makes us awesome as people. If we continue to learn, continue to try, believe, do our best, that's what we wanna be doing. Just like in the movie, sing. Practicing, doing their best. All right, so they're the three eyelashes. Oh, there's four there. One, two, three, four, yep. Okay, so three on one side, four on the other. Okay, now, if we look at this angle, it's like a curve. So I'm just gonna bring this curved line down there from pretty much almost the middle of her eyebrow, uh, eyeball, sorry. And then curve it around like that. Now I'm actually gonna bring this around like so, see, following this line around here. But I'm actually gonna, sorry, I'm actually gonna show you how to do this a bit simpler, see how it's just one continuous line. I'm pretending she doesn't have her dress on. And just for this drawing, obviously. And bringing it down and there's some curves there and then bringing it down into the tail. And then a flat base for the tail. And then a, line, a curved line. Look at that cool curved line there. Now we can draw with our whole arm. We don't have to just um, draw with um, our fingers and our wrists. Our whole arm can move if we need it to. So I've just drawn this sort of bumpy line sort of here coming down. So see how it comes in, out, back in a bit. Back out. All right, now it's time to put on her collar of her outfit. So I'm gonna start by bringing that around like so. And then this part around like so. Now it might not be exact, that's okay. Remember, I'm practicing at the same time as I'm drawing with you. I'm just gonna rub that little bit out there. It's all part of the learning process. Okay, now let's draw this arm on. Curve line. Couple of curved lines here. Pretend that goes around like so. Then her arm comes down and up. This is her other arm part hat here. Now I'm gonna draw a oval for the hand and I'm gonna put her horn, her megaphone or whatever you wanna call it. Sorry. Yep. Sorry, did I, oh, there we go. Yep, sorry. I might zoom out a bit. Sorry guys. There we go. That'll give you a bit more of a look. Obviously when I'm doing this, I'm, it's hard for me to see at the same time. There is, a, even though it's live, there is a little bit of a delay. Okay, megaphone or whatever you want to call it. Don't forget the button. Now, the fingers. How many have we got there? One, two, three, and the little fourth one in there. So I might widen that a little bit. Okay, let's start with this line here, which is this line in there. One, two, one, two, three. And then the last finger will be, we'll have a little like that to make it look like and then we just put the knuckles on little bumps for the knuckles so you should have four bumps there a little bit there and then the thumb line in so like that it looks like she's holding the megaphone now hands feet faces super tricky all right now she hasn't got a mouth yet so let's have a look at her mouth See how the line curves up and then it comes back around. So I'm gonna curve this from here. Mm -hmm. 
and then there's, that's her big smile and then this would probably be a colour where she changes colour that'd be a ch colour change line lips a couple of curves for the lips don't forget her little nostrils now she's looking a lot better let's do the spikes on the back one two three four five if you don't have five doesn't matter as long as you sort of make them look like spikes one two and keep them a similar sort of size four five there then a few more down the tail one two three four five six how many she got one two three four five six good all right now the dress little curve around like so and then she's got a couple of thinner lines there just descriptive lines and then it curves out in and then out again and then her dress comes around put a curve down the bottom for her dress okay there's her dress now her other arm let's have a look we're gonna go here It's like the sleeve for her shirt. Now this arm, she comes in and she's got lots, sort of like her hands on her hips waiting for the people to carry out her magnificent instructions. Now, if you have seen the movie, one of my favorite scenes was um, when she was driving a car. I'll just leave it at that though. So funny. All right. Now, we've got to put some shoes on her. So let's put this shoe on here. So we pretend that sort of this line would come down like so. So I might need to just widen that out a bit and pretend that that's where her leg is. That's why sometimes you, you've got to think about um, the people or the animals that you draw that they don't have the clothes and the clothes can come after you get the body sort of right. So see how that flows through? That would be where her leg would come. And then I'm going to put her shoe on. Now, all the characters and all the scenes in this movie were absolutely amazing. Now I can see that my tail is gonna be hitting my foot. So I'm gonna move that tail, I gotta move that tail. And that's okay, that happens. As I said, it's all learning, getting it looking good. So I've rubbed out my tail. That's why we do it in pencil first, get it all looking good before we start outlining and trying to color and shade. Now I can bring the tail. I'm just gonna bring that out like so. Actually works out well because I think the tail was off the screen before. Don't forget the sole of her shoe. Now I'm looking at her and I'm going, yep, yeah, pretty happy with that. I might make that a little bit thinner. Rubbing that out. Okay, so now you can see that we have drawn three characters. And how, how long have we been going for? We've been going for a little while. Time is at 9.30. So let's, let me choose one. I've prepared um, for me to do, uh, color in um, Miss Crawley. You could outline and color in your own character, but I'm gonna just show you something that I really like when doing cartoon characters. And that is, if you look at these ones, you will see that most of these ones are the same sort of outline, thickness, but Miss Crawley has a really thick outer edge line. And that looks really good. And to me, she stands out compared to those other ones. So that's what I'm gonna do for my Miss Crawley character. I'm gonna start with a thicker Sharpie, making sure I've got something underneath. So I've got some paper underneath. And let me see if I can zoom in on that a little bit more. It's a bit tricky trying to zoom in and Make sure that it, you guys can see it properly. Yep, that looks pretty good. There we go. So, I've got a, a th I'm gonna 
the thicker sharpie. So I'm gonna, I'm happy with this now. Colouring in that part and so on. If you're still following, that's great. If you've chosen to colour in your picture, that's okay. But what I would love to see in the chat is where you have drawn from, a drawing from, and also what your favourite Sing character is for me to sing one or sing two, if you've seen sing two. But if you haven't, you might have seen sing one. I'm, I would, um, it's been out for a while, so you might have seen that. So putting some of your favorite characters down. Um, I reckon that's just about ready for some colored markers that I've got. Okay, so there's Miss Crawley. You can see it's not exactly the same as that drawing, but it's pretty, pretty close. It's my best one drawing live to show you guys. Whoops, I forgot her eye, other eyelashes. All right, and then I'm just gonna rub out some of these lines. Some cool new characters in Sing too. Whoops, forgot her little nostril it's there. There you go, Miss Crawley. And the 
Textures I'm going to use today are my Brunzeal textures because they have a brush tip on them and I'm pretty much, it's a pretty um, simple colouring in process. Now the reason I like the permanent marker outline is because if you use textures or watercolour pencils or paints, they're not going to smudge. So I'm just going to colour her whole dress in except for, I think she has white, I'll leave her white collar and some white sleeves for her. And it's gonna look pretty good. You don't have to add color, you might just keep practicing until you get one that you're really super happy with. Uh, let's have a look at the green. I think this green would be good and I'm gonna leave this part of her quite light, I think. Let's have a look and see if I've got a picture of her I can reference from. Reference materials are super awesome with your when you're doing it as well. I think by the looks of her, she's got a light patch underneath underneath her chin, so I'm gonna leave that white. Now, I may even, I'm not 100% sure what color these spikes are either, but I know she wears some pretty serious lipstick though. So we definitely put bright pink lipstick on. And she's got a darker green hat by the looks, so I'm gonna do that too. Now these little brush markers are great to get into, into those smaller gaps. And they come with a, another pen end as well, so I can get into some really small bits if I need to. But I like the brush tip best. Okay, keep keeping on going. Anywhere where she's, her skin is showing, she's green, obviously she's a lizard. And she's my favorite funny character. She makes me laugh so much. And it's good to have a laugh, especially at the moment with uh, being at home and great way to pass, um, have some fun is to obviously create some artwork. Now, I'm not sure what color her megaphone is. Mr. Moon, we've got lots of people liking Mr. Moon. Rosita, Portia and Nushi are favorite characters from Trisha, yep. I like the way um, Nushi, came, Nushi came into the um, movie as well. Ooh, pink lipstick, pink lipstick. And wonder what color her megaphone could be. I forgot what color it was, but I'm gonna do it red to make it red and white to make it stand out. You guys probably remember, but I'm just gonna put red on it because I think red and green will go really well. So a bit of red. And I'm gonna leave the end white. So it's like it's like a an emergency sort of colors. And her shoes, I'm going to match that with some red shoes with white soles. So I'm going to leave the soles white. All right, there we have. Now, I'm not sure what color those are. Let's make them, I'm going to make them dark green. Dark green spikes, probably a different color, but for now, I'm doing dark green spikes. Remember, as an artist, you can change the colors, you can change all the bits, but I'm just trying to show you today that all things are made up with lines and shapes, and the more you practice, the better you're gonna get. And there is my picture of Miss Crawley. All right. Yep. All right, I'd like to say thank you for joining me. I hope you had a good time, and I hope you've learned some uh, new techniques, even, and even if you haven't, You've done some cool drawings and I'd love to see them on Facebook or Instagram. Um, get your parents to share them with us. If, that, if, if you're happy with that, that'd be fantastic. Remember to give us a thumbs up if you like this video and to subscribe because that can help our, our channel grow and then I can create some more videos for you guys. All right. Keep a lookout for when we may go live again. 
possibly next week, um, but definitely back in uh, the delayed school start time, okay, end of January. All right, I'm gonna see, see you later. Thanks guys.